Thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, Selena USA's third webinar uh, this year. Today we are looking at three mastic sealant questions you're not asking. So as usual, we're going to go ahead and get started with just a quick agenda of what we'll be going through today. Uh, first, we'll look at where you can use mastic sealants. Where can you? Uh, the second question will be, what makes a mastic hybrid? And then third question, why is it important to use mastic hybrid technology? We'll do a quick summary with answering questions towards the end, show you, show you where you can find us, and a quick thank you note. And our, uh, our first question, what we have, I'm going to pass this off to Samuel. He did a little bit of research, so he'll be able to speak to this a little bit more than I am. And uh, Samuel, you want to go right ahead? Sure. Thank you, James. Um, so, yeah, like, like James said, this is our first question that we're discussing where you can use mastic sealants. Um, one of the questions with this sort of technology is um, what problems does it solve? Like, what are the main areas you're addressing on a building with this sort of sealant? And so I found this article, James, if you can key it up for us. Um, this, this article, Roof Failure, Effect and Cause. So this, this article talks, of, this is an article in um, the Journal of Building Operation Management. Basically, they talk about the top 10 places that roofs fail. And so this is on commercial or residential uh, buildings. Basically, the top, the top reasons roofs fail. And so it's listed uh, in the slide here, they're listed out. But basically, these are just different parts of the roof or, or things that can happen that cause a roof to fail or leak. And so essentially, a mastic sealant can solve these problems or prevent them from even happening in the first place. One of the first ones is uh, blisters. That's where moisture gets stuck under the roof and it starts to blister up. Um, the, the ones that are highlighted there are the ones that, that we're addressing uh, with this technology. So the splitting, punctures, penetrations, um, or areas surrounding the flashing. Basically, things can happen in the where the roof doesn't get maintained or perhaps somebody doing maintenance on some other, you know, one of the HVAC technicians uh, leaves some sort of penetration in the roof. But essentially, the sealant that we're talking about today, um, like that, like it says at the bottom of the slide, there's six out of these ten can be can be sealed with a mastic hybrid. And so, I think James, I think you have some pictures. Maybe you could go through those next. Yeah. No. Thank you for for walking us through that real quick and. And, you know, we're, we're here to kind of educate more than just uh, the roof, per se, as far as a mastic sealant where it can be applied. Uh, we just like to highlight the roof because this is for homeowners, home builders. Uh, this can be problematic whenever you get leaks in your, in your attic or if your attic is also part of a room. Um, this could be problematic. And so we wanted to highlight that first. And then we have some additional applications um, and where those could be included. So first, you know, we could look at what what are maybe some penetrations around this house or commercial building uh, that that would cause some potential damage if if water is getting in. So mastic sealant, they're, they're designed to seal out water and in, in the weather from getting inside your your house or the commercial building. And so just a few uh, ideas on uh, where you could use these mastic sealants. One of them would be pipe penetrations. So here we have a gas line penetration just as an example. Uh, this is where you could use the mastic sealant to seal up around that pipe. That way you don't have any moisture content getting in and possibly getting on the wood behind that brick that would cause some rotting and, and mold and mildew and all that nasty stuff. So this would be one good application area. Another one that's pretty common um, in, in around the United States is the gutters, actually. 
Um, so once your gutters start leaking and they start getting onto the uh, the the wood right below, or if they're really really bad gutters, they they are leaking really bad. They're not even performing their job. <laughs> that's that's uh, kind of sad because you know gutters they're there to help direct water flow away from your house, and if instead they're just causing a puddle right next to your house. That's not a good thing. So another place to use mastic sealant would be around your gutters, the seams, the cracks, uh, and any kind of joints for your gutter work. Another option would be to use it in your basements uh, as a sealant for your basements. So you could seal around your basement, really get uh, that moisture content away from any material you don't want it to be around. And in the basements are just very commonly known as a humid or kind of damp area. And so uh, this is this is a good, good place to use mastic sealant uh, because of its specific uh, water repellent, waterproof technology. Um, another really good area would be kind of any kind of conduit or um, wire penetrations in or around the building that you have your house or or that commercial building, any kind of those penetrations would be really well to use as well. Um, that's mastic sealant. And then another one that's a little different is to seal and to adhere. You could do kind of like this example of showing the PVC pipes are getting adhered on the outside and sealed just as a, as a double. A lot of people will use the PVC glue. Um, and this is just an addition to that to seal up the outside. So there's Definitely no weathering or anything happening. Uh, this this next one is actually really intriguing, and I need to I need to do this on my house. I have some uh, <laughs> I have some of my foundation showing, and it looks almost just like this picture starting to crack, getting all nasty looking. It it really needs a kind of facelift, um, cleaned up, and and I think this is exactly what I'm trying to get to is our foundation. It it's very important to keep if you can, any kind of moisture content out of it. Uh, now, of course, naturally, some of it will come through the through underground and kind of getting concrete is porous. Uh, but if you can keep it on the outside from getting in or um, really penetrating your foundation and keep it from cracking, that would be nice. And any of these cracks that you do have in your foundation currently, it'd be good to go ahead and clean them up, seal them up. This way you're not having water penetrate into your subfloor or anything like that. So next we're going to go to our second question, and that is, what makes a mastic hybrid? Okay, well, first we have to think about the chemistry behind mastic hybrid sealants. And that is actually going to kind of be rooted in this hybrid word. Hybrid is a basically meaning it's a combination of two powerful chemical chains. And I'm going to get into the, what those two are after I do a quick preview of what mastic is. So mastic is a form of a sealant or adhesive that's used to fill joints and to bond different materials. That's kind of what ha mastic is meaning. Now, what makes these this mastic a hybrid? would be the material that it's being used. What, what are the base chemicals? So hybrid sealants, like the hybrid mastic we're about to get into, hybrid sealants are an integration of both high, poly, high performance polyurethane and silicone sealant. So what are we doing here? We're, we're combining two different base chemical chains to make one, and that's where the hybrid comes in. Both of them have very unique attributes that they bring to this mastic hybrid sealant uh, product. So the adhesive side being from polyurethane, polyurethane is really good at adhering porous things, very porous materials. Silicone is great at repelling water and really sealing things up. So what we get into is we're actually taking the base of polyurethane, we're adding silicone and that's whenever we get the hybrid mastic sealant. And that is exactly what this whole topic is about. Where, what is the product? Where it can be used? Well, the product is polyurethane plus silicone. That is the base, the adhesive and sealing properties. And then where you could apply it, we answered in the first one. So we, 
we got a little bit of ahead of ourselves in that, but I want to give you an example of what a, a mastic hybrid sealant would look like. Uh, we, we here at Titan Professional at Selena USA, we actually happen to have one. Um, this is an example of a mastic hybrid sealant you would see out in the market. It's our Titan Professional Coat and Seal. And so it uses this technology of polyurethane and silicone and combines the two to be a hybrid, a mixture of those two. Now, you might be thinking, man, you know, a mixture of those two. Well, you know, I know polyurethane has some downsides. I know silicone has some downsides. You know, silicone, you can't paint. Um, polyurethane, it's not really UV stable. So you're starting to think, okay, well, maybe combined, they might have some uh, good to them, right? But they also might have some bad. Um, but I want to tell you why it's important to use this mastic hybrid technology. And that goes into our third question. Why is it important to use this mastic hybrid technology? Well, I want to tell you first some features. And I think you'll start to gather why it's important to use this mastic hybrid technology. Knowing the basic features of a mastic hybrid sealant, then you will understand, okay, now I'm kind of understanding why we might want to use this technology more than we thought we, we are currently or more than we thought we could. One of them is first and foremost, this formulation of polyurethane and silicone combined is actually environmentally friendly formula. So they're very typical features of a uh, mastic hybrid sealant is that they're going to be uh, very low or no volatile organic compounds, no meaning VOC. They're going to be environmentally friendly to use. Uh, they're also going to be solvent free. So what does solvent free mean? That means there's no shrinking or cracking. Whenever you apply the product, however much you apply, that's in the shape that you apply it. That's how it's going to remain for the, for the endurance of its lifespan. It's going to be mold, mildew, and fungi resistant. It's going to have properties that help it against the ultraviolet lights. So it kind of goes hand in hand with that environmentally friendly. It also can be used outside. It's safe in those environmental factors. It also has an excellent adhesion because both polyurethane and silicone, they have really good adhesive properties. Silicone is really good at non-porous things, but polyurethane is excellent at porous adhesion substrates. So you don't need any primer because you have these two base chemicals that are amazing at adhering in combining joints. Then you don't have to worry about any of the shrinking, the bleeding, the stains. You can get some stains with silicone as 100% uh, silicone. You can get some bleeding. You can get some stains. But again, we're talking about a hybrid. So it has some polyurethane in it that prevents that from happening. Also, it can be applied underwater. So if you're, if you're having a pipe that's leaking or something uh, that you need a quick fix up for, you can use this mastic hybrid technology to kind of seal up those areas that are already um, submerged or have water around them or maybe water on them. You don't have to worry about application on wet surfaces. It will adhere to PVC that's wet. It will adhere to wood that's wet. This product can be used on so many different substrates because of its amazing adhesive technology. And of course, it's it's really, really important whenever you seal things that it seals without bubble forming. And that's what this hybrid technology does because of the properties that it's using with polyurethane and silicone. They're actually taking the best of both worlds and making it so while it cures, it's not bubbling. And that's really important, especially when you're trying to keep things watertight. Another nice feature, you know, silicone, you can't paint. You know, polyurethane, you can paint over. Now, with the combination of the two, you can actually dye this mastic hybrid to be whatever color you need it to be to match that substrate. If you have red brick and you're uh, putting this mastic hybrid sealant around that pipe penetration and you want the sealant to match your brick, you can dye it red 
That's what can happen with these mastic hybrid sealants where you, if you would have just caulk sealed it with silicone, you wouldn't have been able to paint it. You would have had to have buy the silicone that's specifically made to have that red dye in it. Now you can dye these mastic hybrid technologies and you can put them in applications that uh, you need around your house. Another beautiful, beautiful part is that kind of like uh, silicone has is, is got some flexible flexibility to it. Now you have high elasticity because of the combination. And I'm going to get into a little bit more on these exactly what we're talking about and how, how these features, how do all these features come about? You're probably thinking, man, these seem like a whole bunch of benefits. Well, you're right. It is a whole bunch of benefits. Not even to mention that it's got around a 20 year life expectancy of the product before it starts to biodegrade or break down. Um, and you're probably thinking, how is this even possible? Well, next, I'm about to pull up a chart and it's going to show polyurethane, silicone and a mastic sealant technology, a hybrid technology like we're talking about. And it's kind of give you an idea. So this is an image. The blue being the outermost, um, and the closer you are to these words, the stronger, the better it is. Okay, so we'll just kind of go around the horn, so to speak, real quick. Blue is the MS polymer, which is the mastic hybrid sealant. Green is the silicone sealant, and red is the polyurethane sealant. So we'll just kind of go around the horn. Envi environmentally friendly, which I kind of already mentioned. These mastic hybrids are the best at being environmentally friendly. So if you notice polyurethane being the worst, silicone being the second best, this MS technology, this mastic sealant technology is actually designed to be even more environmentally friendly than silicone. Now we go over to paintability, as we know, and as I've mentioned, you cannot paint silicone. It's at dead last on this one. And next would be the polyurethane. As I mentioned, you can paint polyurethane, but something that's even more unique for the mastic hybrid sealant is it can be painted and it can be dyed. So you can have double whammy, paint or dye. You have some options here. Now we'll go into some UV stability. A mastic sealant is going to be towards the top, right next to that silicone. Silicone, of course, being the best at UV stability. Uh, but mastic sealant, not far behind it, really good properties to keep it from breaking down in that UV direct light. Mechanical performance, adhesion strength, non-staining, all three of those being the top of its category, mastic sealants just outperform polyurethane and silicone. It's matching in non-bubbling and quick curing with silicone. And then it has a little less of the dirt pickup resistance that polyurethane brings just because of the combination. But then it's back at the top again with wet substance adhesion, low temperature kind of application ability, and then the storage ability. And so you can kind of get a picture of how how this mastic sealant, this hybrid technology really takes the best of both worlds to try to make the a product that's very unique in adhering and sealing just about in any application because of its unique properties, taking the best features of both the polyurethane and the silicone. And last, I have a quick, quick chart that shows what does the MS uh, hybrid how does it stack up against maybe just silicone alone, liquid rubber, polyurethane, acrylic? This is just a quick example of kind of how I would break it down as far as where does it stack up? We have good, average, and bad. And if you kind of notice, and we highlighted it, the mastic sealants have majority, except for one, they have majority good. And, and what do I mean by good? I mean, it's the best out of the other options. So it's a, among the best out of the other options. And, and really, mastic sealant kind of tops the notch on all of these and really sets the tone uh, for what you want to use around your house for adhering, for sealing. 
And this is kind of why we're showing it's important to use this mastic hybrid technology because it's taking the best of both worlds, the best of polyurethane, the best of silicone, combining the two and making an amazing bond, an amazing adhesive that also seals and is watertight. It's UV stable. It's environmentally friendly. This is why it's important to use a mastic hybrid technology. Now, last uh, but not least, I'll just do a quick summary. Um, and what we have here are just the three questions that we just went over. And so I'll do a quick run through. Where can you use mastic sealants? Well, as you saw, you can use them in exterior applications, for adhesive applications, for sealing applications. Really, it really just comes down to if there's a limit on regulation or if there has to be specific standard testing that the product has to meet. Those are your real limitations. Otherwise, you can use it just about anywhere. Now, the second question, what makes a mastic hybrid? Well, uh, kind of like I've been mentioning and I'm really excited about, it's the combination, the best of both worlds of that silicone, that polyurethane, putting them together and making one product that's taking the best properties of those two combined and, and really letting those two, those high, highly adhesive and really good properties of silicone and polyurethane, letting them shine in this mastic hybrid. Now, why is it important? As we just went over, you saw the features, you saw all of the benefits that it, a mastic hybrid technology has against just silicone, against acrylic, against just polyurethane. This hybrid technology really outperforms all of them because it's taking the best of the properties of the silicone polyurethane to do that. So, now we're going to open it up. Do you have some live questions you want to put into our chat? We'll go ahead and go back through the slides and answer any live questions there might be. Um, if there aren't any live questions while we're going through all of this, we'll be happy to answer them. On here, you can see we have different ways to contact us with different questions you might have uh, to really help out. Uh, we want to be as clear and as information uh, as as have the most clear and most information as possible to you and really help support grow your business. Um, one of that today, we just wanted to go through Mastic Hybrid Technology and three common questions we think you might not be asking. Samuel, do we have any uh, live questions here going on today? Yeah, I know, I know one, if you could go back to the slide with all the features, I know one I thing to think through so I talked about at the beginning some of the issues people run into with roofs. Mm -hmm. Well, like the fact that this this type of technology doesn't shrink or crack, like that's that's half the reason why the roof is failing, you know, according to what we presented earlier, whether it's around the, you know, whether it's around the flashing or the, you know, different types of penetrations or, uh, you know, some sort of like just neglect. Well, this sort of technology will withstand those problems. And so that that's a lot of the reason why we, you know, posit what we're doing, what we're saying here is just because the technology will survive in a very difficult environment being so exposed um, to the to the environment. So. Oh, yes. Thank you for kind of highlighting that. Yeah, it's. Yeah. And, and as you can kind of see on, on the little graph here, as far as UV stability, it's environmentally friendly, it can be painted. So it's definitely a product you want to use um, on any of those exterior applications, roofs, penetrations into the, the house or into the commercial building. I mean, it, it's definitely got nice features that allow it to sustain the weathering that most other sealants or, or adhesive bonding uh, chemicals can't really withstand. So this, this mastic hybrid technology, I mean, it, it's one that's hard to compete against. Yeah. It's uniquely, it, you know, able to be used in any environment, you know, whereas, you know, other, some of these other technologies are, are just a little less stable. Um, 
in, in the UV rays. That is right. That is right. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think that may be it. Okay. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and get us over to our last part. Uh, Samuel, if you want to take this next slide for us. Yeah, yeah, where to find yeah, thanks for thanks everybody for watching the webinar today. James and I do these every couple weeks, every other week or so. Um, we'll be at two, uh, we'll be exhibiting at a couple of trade shows this year, the Sunbelt Builders Show near our headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, Home Builder Show, James and I will be there exhibiting uh, our products. We'll also be at the Stafta Show exhibiting in November in Nashville. Um, I recommend our YouTube channel. We, we answer a lot of questions. We're, I know we'll be publishing some videos about some of this technology soon as well. James and I have already filmed some of those. Um, so I, I definitely recommend checking out our YouTube channel for frequently asked questions about all of our all of our products and kind of about residential construction and some other other topics surrounding uh, what we're talking about today. Um, so so uh, yeah, check it out and uh, give us some feedback, comment on those, ask us questions. We, we love to answer them. Yes, and uh, thank you again, everyone, for showing up today and going through us with going through these three common questions uh, that you might not be asking for these mastic hybrid technologies. So uh, stay tuned for our next webinar where we kind of go through some of the videos that we've already done and and we go through some of the emails we get. We're going to answer frequently asked questions, and that's that. That could be about our product. It could be about different application styles. It could be about all sorts of things. So stay tuned. Thank you again for showing up and have a wonderful day.